Yeah, and could you explain endocrine disruptor? So probably the easier way to think about this, uh, in Europe, in, in the headline writers call these gender-bending hormones, so things that uh, affect hormones like androgens and estrogens that determine whether we're masculine or feminine, particularly in development. A lot of the things like phthalates that we see in uh, fragranced products, uh, even things like uh, nail polish or not just fragrance products, that phthalates are a remarkable series of chemicals that are used in multiple things. So phthalates are used in nail polish, they're also used to make your rubber ducky soft um, if it's made out of PVC. Um, and they are gender branding in that we found that uh, uh, babies that were ex exposed to phthalates in the womb, um, if they're baby boys, they, they become more feminized in ways that, uh, by strange, <laughs> that's why they call them gender bending hormones, uh, in developmental ways. If you want specifics on that, it's where the urethra is, is closer to, uh, to the anus be more specific about it. That's scary stuff. It is scary stuff and the fact that these things are out in the environment and in our products without being tested for health and you know that we're testing we're all guinea pigs for them right now. If, if most of us um, if we had our blood tested we'd have something like 200 chemicals in our blood, 50 known carcinogens, others that are reproductive hazards, many of them that have been banned you know like DDT were banned, 70, banned in 74, 76 and are still the residues are still in our blood. Uh, we don't know what the effects of those are. We can't say that, you know, chemical A in my blood is, go is going to give me breast cancer, but we can, we can draw some serious, some, some correlations, some strong correlations between exposures, particularly to things like phthalates and personal care products, and the higher risk of uh, breast cancer, uh, early, early puberty, which is also a predictor for breast cancer in girls. Do you, do you see phthalates on an ingredient list? Would you be able to look for it, find it, and avoid that product? Unfortunately, no. Um, for many things, in household chemical, in household cleaners, there isn't a requirement. There isn't currently a disclosure and labeling requirement, although this particular product has triclosan, has triclosan on the label, and so that's regulated as um, an antimicrobial. It's regulated by the US EPA, so that has to be on the label if they're making an antibacterial claim, which they are here. Um, if, however, they decided to not make that claim and just have it be a preservative, there's no requirement for it to be on the label. So most, house, most household cleaning chemicals don't have labeling requirements, and in fact, um, they don't exist for um, personal care products either. But the way to avoid phthalates is, one, stay away from air fresheners. They're most likely to be the carrier fragrance in there. Um, dibutyl phthalate has been uh, commonly used in nail polish uh, through the work of Breast Cancer Fund and the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics. We've gotten many of the, the large manufacturers to remove that from, from products. So stay away from fragrance products if you can, because that tends to be what both personal care products and household chemicals, because that tends to be where phthalates are found. And also your, uh, the handy dandy rubber ducky that I was holding up before, phthalates are used also to soften plastics, as are some heavy metals. So um, look for non-PVC toys if you can. Uh, very, these days, there's now marketing phthalate-free toys, um, and if you, if you can look for, there's a European mark, um, let me rip this down, there's a European mark that says that it's phthalate-free, uh, can't find it at the moment, uh, CE, the, the European eco mark is CE on toys, um, it is not unfortunately on this little rubber ducky, uh, and that says that it complies with the European Union's phthalate-free toy. Um, the good news about that also is that we just passed federally, Dian Senator Dianne Feinstein uh, got a bill through uh, Congress that will ban the, the sale of any toys in the U.S. that have phthalates, uh, a subset of phthalates, four common phthalates that are used in toys and heavy metals in toys. So as of February 2009, those toys will technically not be allowed to be sold in the U.S., um, which catches us up to the European Union that banned them about 10 years ago.